GPU prices are about to go way down. NVIDIA's next generation GPUs might be postponed. And PCI Express 4.0? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Before I get started, let's look at today's sponsor, Bowser Custom PC, a small custom PC company that's seriously for the consumer. The owner is personally driven over 1,000 miles just to swap out an SSD for a client, and they work with all budgets from the $500 build all the way up to full-on custom everything. Plus, every PC comes with a full one-year warranty. And if you order fast, they're offering free custom cables, fans, and vinyl wrap for any order over $500. If you're interested, definitely check them out in the description below. While GPU prices have seen a very slow decline over the past couple months, it's safe to say they're in reasonable territory now, with many right at MSRP and even some bringing back rebates and gifts with purchases. Well, guess what? If this article is right, it won't stop here. Originally reported by DigiTimes, an admittedly hit or miss outlet, their sources are seeing a pretty huge drop in demand for GPUs in the cryptocurrency market. That makes sense considering currencies aren't doing all that great and haven't been for a while now. Plus, with the introduction of ASICs for some big name currencies, it was bound to happen. The problem is that GPU makers clearly weren't expecting such a fast drop in sales and were left with their metaphorical pants down. As a side note, if Nvidia and AMD in fact didn't push production as high as possible to catch up to demand, this could be why. They both understood the volatility of cryptocurrencies and couldn't simply get chip manufacturers to open more facilities or they'd be in an even worse place today. With that said, if this report is accurate, they aren't doing great regardless. Other outlets have been quoting in the hundreds of thousands of GPUs being sent back to Nvidia. And according to this, worldwide GPU inventory is in the millions, with Nvidia holding on to 1 million GPUs themselves. Now, this brings along some good news and some potential bad news. The good news is that, according to DigiTimes, we should expect an average drop in GPU prices by 20% this month. That's obviously great news considering it's been practically a year since cars were reasonably priced. Unfortunately, with this good news comes potentially bad news. Also according to DigiTimes, though oddly placed at the end with not so much emphasis, the sheer number of inventory left has forced Nvidia to postpone the launch of their next generation graphics cards. Now, I will say that none of my sources have heard anything, so I'm seriously not sure how true this is, but it could be a possibility that simply hasn't made its way to me yet. Lastly for today, the new standard of PCI Express really might be adopted by AMD pretty soon. Originally reported by ComputerBase, an updated Linux driver from AMD shows it's preparing for the fourth generation of PCI Express. For those who don't know, the new standard comes with double the bandwidth of PCI Express 3.0. With that said, keep in mind that we probably won't see PCI Express 4.0 in mainstream desktops anytime soon. For one, current GPUs don't need so much bandwidth, though there's other uses for PCI Express lanes like fast SSDs. But that brings up the second point. The tech is really expensive. There's simply too much cost involved to justify it at the moment. So while the tech is interesting, we're a good ways away before it'll matter to gamers all that much. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for price drops or bummed at the chance of a postponed GPU launch? Let me know down in the comments below. Plus, don't forget to check out Bowser Custom PCs. And as always, have a great day.